Good morning. I'm Aubrietta Jones. I'm one of the pastors at the First United Methodist Church of Maumel. I am so glad to get to share this Tuesday morning devotional with all of you. It's a beautiful day outside. It's still really hot, but fall isn't too far away. And I'm thankful for the great opportunities that we have at the church right now. As we allow some people to have time to tune in, I want to be sure to share with you the things that are going on. We are collecting items for flood buckets, and the list is very long, but if you would like to help by making a monetary donation, that's a great option as well. There's cleaning supplies, specific cleaning supplies and so forth, and maybe I'll try to post a picture of that as a comment to the devotional when I'm done so you can see that in the comment section beneath. I see Dennis Wood has joined us this morning. Hi, Dennis. I'm glad that you're with us today. Barbara Hill, glad that you all are joining in. I want to let you know as well, as we let a few more people sign on, that Nick Garrison is preaching for us this Sunday. He is our youth minister. Uh, good morning, Auburn. Good to see you. Uh, see your face in the corner of the screen. Um, Nick is going to do a great job, and I'm excited for him to have that opportunity and I hope you will come out and support him in worship and listen and learn from him. I also want to let you know some other great things that are going on in the life of the church. We have started adding in a lot more special music into our traditional service and the choir has started meeting again and there are going to be ensembles and small groups and solos. And so they're working on that right now. It's, it's a very exciting time. And I'm really thankful that we're going to get to enjoy their music again. People are coming every Sunday. There's more people and, and that's exciting as well. I do believe that those who are not in a particularly delicate physical condition and those who have gotten their shots it's time to come back to church. It's easy for things to knock that off our weekend routine. It's time to come back and it's time to get involved again and to be a part of your church family. This week, as I am in the, what is now the third week of our study on the book of Psalms on Wednesday nights, our Bible study that we're offering this season. And as I thought about last Sunday's message about child rearing, and what the book of Proverbs says about raising children. I thought about my own childhood and I was thinking about the study on Psalms and it all kind of came together for me in this devotional I'm sharing with you today. Because one thing that stood out in my childhood is that I was surrounded by music. I had a cousin living next door who was extremely musical and could play nearly every musical instrument. I have parents that could sing and at church on Sunday morning, I heard the hymns in three-part, four-part harmony. I had my own music lessons and my own activities related to music. And I remember as a child being in a community children's choir, which was not an exclusively Christian organization, but as you know, many of the songs of our history, many of the renowned classical songs are Christian in nature and were written by members of the church or written for great cathedrals and great churches. And I remember standing up there and singing and thinking, well, if I can make my face show my faith, maybe more people will come to believe in Jesus. And so I remember as I was singing at those choral events, I remember trying to share my faith through my facial expression and through my words and in, in really trying to give my all to that. Music was a huge part of my life. And I heard music all the time. Every day, I heard someone singing out loud, playing a musical instrument in my home, next door at the rest of my family's home, at school. It was a constant reality in my life. And the Psalms, of course, are set in music. And so I was thinking about that as this devotional time came and I was praying about what I needed to do. And these are some scriptures that I wanna share with you about music and about singing. Colossians chapter 3, 15 says, "'Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, "'since as members of one body, you were called to peace.'" 
and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, and as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. Or what about Ephesians chapter 5, verses 18 and 19? Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And finally, Psalm 104, verse 33 I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. And so those are some, some, some scriptures about music that I was thinking about today and that, that kind of came to my mind today as I considered the role of music in our faith. There's so many ways we can bring music into our lives now on the radio. Uh, some of us have Spotify or some of us have Apple Music. I don't know where you get your music, but one of the things that happens in our COVID-19 isolation and in the changing of routines is that music can be shoved out of our lives. If we're not somebody that is conscious of our musical uh, selections and of the things we're listening to, and especially uh, somebody who maybe has not been worshiping as regularly with the church, music can get shoved out of our lives and that spiritual music can get shoved out of our lives. This is particularly true for people that may enjoy music but don't actually sing themselves. Uh, sometimes those of us that really enjoy singing, that tune is in our heads and we might sing a Christian song as we're going about cleaning our house or something like that. But those of us that don't feel very musical, we may not be as likely to sing. Um, what I want to tell you is that in God's ears, your voice is a beautiful noise. And you may say, it's noise, all right. <laughs> but in, in God's ears, your voice is a beautiful noise. And I also want to mention that it's important to know the effect that the music you listen to has on your overall emotional outlook the effect that the music you listen to has on the, the subjects that come into your mind. I love country music. I love all kinds of music, but I enjoy country music. And when I was a teenager, there was a study that came out about the way country music was written at that time. And it said that people who listened to country music were more likely to battle depression because so many of the songs were about bad news. Now, I don't know if people took that to heart or if people in the music industry took that to heart and decided to change their style, but now a lot of the country music is about positive things. There are some negative ones in there too. Uh, just like rock and roll, there's negative ones in there and positive ones, but we need to pay attention to what we listen to. That's, that's kind of the point of what I'm saying there. We need to pay attention to what kind of songs we are listening to and what are the message we're telling, messages that we're telling ourselves. There are Christian radio stations. There's Christian selections in Apple Music. Almost any venue or vehicle you use for music has a Christian option. And I hope that your life is heavily sprinkled with Christian music. You may not be somebody that's ready to join the choir. You may not be somebody that's ready to sing a solo. That is totally fine, but your life needs Christian music. Uh, and I'm excited about the ways the music program is expanding and reopening here at the church. I'm excited about the special music selections that are going to be in worship. I'll say again, if you can go to a restaurant, you can come to church. If you can sit side by side with somebody at a Bible study and there's not hardly any social distancing with your mask on, you can come to church. It is not less safe to worship than it is to sit side by side with somebody for an hour and a half. So it's time to come back. And it is also important to enjoy and listen to the music that is a part of worship. It is time to fill our lives with Christian music, to make ourselves aware of the opportunities uh, to draw near to God through music on a regular basis. And um, I hope that you're conscious of what it is that you're listening to. 
I want to greet a few more that have come online. I see Jean Colvin and B. Watson. Good morning, everyone. Glad that you're with us today. Um, I want to share with you a couple of dates of things that are coming up in November. And I know that's a ways away, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to November. November 7th, we're going to be celebrating the legacy of our friends who have died in the faith and gone on to be with the Lord. We're going to name everybody that has passed away since All Saints 2019. It is going to be an uplifting service. We're going to focus on gratitude and on thanksgiving for the legacy we've been given and on where our place in that legacy is. So it is going to be an uplifting and comforting service. I hope you can be there. It's going to be beautiful. November 14th, I'm not going to tell you what's happening in worship, but it is very, very special. I need you to trust me on this. I want you to put November 14th on your calendar. Schedule around it. If you have little weekend trips that you're taking, you want to take them another week because November 14th will be a memorable, beautiful Sunday, and I really hope that you will be there. November 21st, the Sunday before Thanksgiving, is Hanging of the Greens, and it's going to have lots of people involved in it as readers. There's going to be special music. Our choir is going to have some possibly pre-recorded items that they're going to share with us. They might be able to sing at a distance from one another. We want it to be safe for them as singers, but um, we are looking at our options on that, but it's going to be really special, and that will be in both services. Uh, all these items will be in both services, November 7th, November 14th, November 21st. So it, it is going to be an unforgettable November. And I know it's early for me to tell you that, but I can't wait to tell you that because I'm excited. We have, we have things coming up before November, of course. We've got truck or treat. We've, we're collecting candy already. And, and of course, we want to keep our generosity going with our flood bucket collections. Um, but uh, I'm thankful for our church. I'm thankful for all we get to do together. Before we go to prayer, I'm going to close with Psalm 150 and uh, hear this. Uh, psalm this reading from the lord's word praise the lord praise god in his sanctuary praise him in his mighty heavens praise him for his acts of power praise him for his surpassing greatness praise him with the sounding trumpet praise him with the harp and lyre praise him with tambourine and dancing praise him with strings and flute Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Everything that has breath includes you, my brothers and sisters. Raise your voices to him. Clap your hands. Sing quietly and reverently. Whatever you need to do, praise the Lord in your life each day with, with music, with hearing and singing music, with playing instruments for the glory of God as a way of staying your mind on the course of the Christian faith and giving praise to your Father in heaven and connecting with him. Make sure it happens every day. Good music that glorifies God and come to worship where we'll share music together. Let's pray. Holy God, we thank you for the gift of music. We thank you for the gift of music and we thank you for the ways that it has enriched our lives. We thank you for music that brings to mind uh, beautiful relationships and treasured moments in our lives. And above all, we thank you for the music that brings to mind your great faithfulness. Help us to be aware and conscious of what we are putting in our minds through what we listen to. Help us to be aware and conscious of what we're putting in our minds through what we listen to, God. Help us to examine ourselves and see what thoughts we're introducing into our lives that do not belong there. Sometimes, Lord, we, we know that the beauty and the creativity of certain mu musicians really speaks to us, and yet at the same time, sometimes the message of the words, it's just not what we need to think about. So help us to balance that. We thank you, God, for sprinkling the gift of music so broadly and generously across all of creation. Uh, the beauty of the music of the birds in the morning, the beauty of so many different musical styles around the globe. Thank you, God, that you've provided this as a source of joy for all of us. Lord, we pray that we would be able to draw near to you in thick and thin, and help us, Lord, to be people who think about you and who give you thanks and whose minds are on you all day long. Lord, we lift up those who are sick and who are suffering in our community. 
Lord, we lift up those who are battling depression and discouragement. And again, God, we thank you for the medicine of music, which along with prescribed medicines and counseling can be a helpful thing. God, we thank you for the ways that we get to nurture and uplift one another in the church. I thank you, God, for the ways that the faces of those who attend church are a witness, the, the ways that the presence of those who attend church are a witness so that we witness to one another. We witness to the children in our midst that watch us walking in. We encourage one another through our presence. And I thank you, God, that we get to be the church together. Bless us and guide us this week. Bless our collection up for the flood buckets. Bless the work that you've given us. Help us to glorify you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.